hello guys welcome to salesforce anytime channel so today we are going to talk about one of the most uh, uh, common problem that developers face during the um, development or or even deployments uh, when you are trying to create a custom field and you wanted to set up uh, field level permissions for that custom field uh, normally uh, it happens to uh, to be that after you deploy a custom field sometimes the fls is not actually deployed or deploying the fls is itself is a difficult thing um, so that normally developers uh, follow it as a, a post deployment step uh, sometimes uh, and also even uh, when you create a new field um, sometimes uh, it is not set up properly in terms of field level security um, because then you have to go to uh, different permission sets uh, in order to uh, set up the field level security uh, for the same field. So today we are, gonna, we are going to talk about uh, how we actually set up uh, FLS uh, without any hassles and on, on a single screen for uh, given uh, custom fields and for all the permission sets and profiles at, at a single time. So let me just uh, log into uh, this uh, my org. So I have selected production because I have a developer org. Uh, this is my test account. I am just logging in. So once I log in, uh, it will ask me to uh, allow access uh, so that uh, Packmagix can actually access uh, the field level securities. By default, it has opened the package explorer. So, in order to go to field level security, I'll go to the accelerators and field level security. So, here, um, so you can actually uh, select for which custom fields you want to do the FLS setup. So, for example, I can select an object, uh, for example, account from which I, I, I have some custom fields uh, for which I have to set up the uh, field level security. Uh, you could also view the FLS or uh, if you want to edit, you can edit also using these two. So for example, I have selected these two fields, SLA and Active and I am going to add it to the package so that I can view the uh, permissions for these two fields. So I am going to hit uh, the view edit forms button. So once I hit it, it will load the FLS from the server. So it has loaded the FLS for these two fields. You can see the right on the right side uh, columns are there SLA and active these two fields and the permissions are listed like read and edit permissions. So on the left side you could see there are profiles and the profile name is here uh, for which profile uh, is given uh, what permission for this field. So you could also see the permission sets uh, if you have permission sets in the in your org. So mine has only one, so I could see only one permission set. Here. So you could see my permission set uh, has not uh, been. Uh, so this, this this is apparently a new permission set after these fields are created. So that's why probably the uh, access is not given to this permission set. So let me just try to give access to this permission set. Let me show you. So remember one thing, uh, when you give edit access for any field, it will automatically give you read access also. But if you just want to keep the read access only, then you can remove the edit and it will keep the read uh, access only here. And if you want to remove both the accesses, then you empty again both the fields. But if you want to give edit, then obviously read is uh, by default, you have to have read access in order to have edit access. So I'm just going to give edit access for this uh, permission set uh, uh, to this custom field and I'm going to save it so I have saved this permission again okay so this is how uh, you could actually save or edit any of those fields uh, here and you could also filter uh, the profiles or permission sets to which you want to give access to for example uh, if I want to give only uh, uh access to only particular profiles then i will just uh, filter it out here so that way uh, i could only set up for those profiles or those permission sets only and then i can save the permissions so 
uh, that's all I wanted to talk about so this is really he helpful tool uh, to set up or actually also view FLS so that you could view in the target org and check if the FLS for the new fields has been set up properly or not and that could be one round of verification you can do for the new custom fields uh, FLS so this is all I want to talk to you uh, we'll talk to you again in next video thank you very much for watching this thank you bye